Good morning. Today we're at Dollar Tree. We're going to check out some of the prices. Everything's still a dollar, I hope. We don't know if the prices have gone up here yet. We're going to check on that, check the shelves, uh, some of the stuff they got in there. We got to pick up a few things ourselves. It's cold. It is very cold. It's like 10 degrees. So Bye. let's get to it. So with it being very close to Valentine's Day, Jess is checking out all the Valentine's Day stuff. What you find there? I found this real cute one. Oh man. Look at this dog. Oh, <laughs> You're so cute. We're buying this one. It's only a buck. Yeah, we found out everything in here is still only a dollar. Now we are in Cincinnati, Ohio. We know a lot of them have gone up to a dollar twenty-five now, which they're saying it's gonna be a couple months. So we still get a little well of everything is a dollar. We did notice that they have taken out a lot of their middle shelving here, so I don't know if this is just stuff that they can't get in right now. I'm gonna take a look at things and see how see how it is. So not only do they have Valentine's Day stuff in, we've already got a lot of St. Patrick's Day stuff. Well, they like to be prepared, don't they? Some of you guys have been saying how a lot of the Valentine's Day candy that you usually get has not been around. We have seen a lot less this year. What do you love most about this place? <laughs> Very cheap. I'm cheap. And uh, it's nice to know the price when you go out. Everything being a dollar, it makes it real easy. We've got a lot of comments that nobody likes the dollar twenty-five. I have a feeling we'll get used to it at some point. Everything seems to be going up. So one thing that has been a bit of a struggle for a lot of the dollar stores to keep in are the party plates. These are usually the things that we come here for, like birthday items and stuff. I have noticed that the shelves, shelving is a lot smaller than it was before, and they've definitely taken some out because these aisles are a lot wider. What you got there? Isn't this the stuff I used to make a wreath once? A wreath? <laughs> remember when I ran out? I can't remember what colors it was. You talking about the one you made for Valentine's Day? I made the Easter wreath and oh, I yeah, only did right. half of it because I ran out of stuff. So it does look like Dollar Tree is uh, looking pretty low on a lot of stuff. Not too surprised here, but I don't know. Usually this Dollar Tree is pretty stocked up. We wanted to come back here. We had to get a few things today. We are actually making a new meal in our Instapot tonight, so we might uh, have you guys join us for that. Uh, it's like a beef stew thing. We might go over that a little bit. We'll say, though, that they are fully stocked on a lot of candy. Um, you know, and they're, they're doing the spread out routine, but hey, at least they got a bunch. This is the most... Uh, candy in a, a dollar store that we've seen in a long time um, and it's nice because you always know the price this kind of stuff I have a feeling like this kind of stuff will always stay a dollar let me know down in the comments if your Dollar Tree has gone up on these things if they've stayed a dollar is everything a dollar 25 let me know down below somebody had mentioned in the comments that you know they used to do two liters here for a dollar well you were right they're a dollar or actually it's not even a one and a half it's just uh one liter point one point two five liters for a dollar so still a pretty decent deal do have a lot of their cookies that some of you guys have talked about the fudge stripe shortbread oven baked cookies here we haven't seen these in a while um i don't know they hopefully they're starting to get them back in uh, and lots of cookies got the original animal cookies a lot of you guys have asked about these we know that these have kind of been missing across the country but we've been seeing more and more come in also the lance crackers to be honest with you this is probably the best place to get lance crackers we i know a lot of you guys have commented on them and they've been gone everywhere now we saw they have the big packs at sam's club for a pretty decent price but um you know it's a pretty good deal it's a fairly good amount for a dollar here somebody a while back was asking about the moon pies they actually have them back in. They haven't had these uh, for months. Um, I didn't even know they sold these here until somebody commented on it. Uh, only a dollar a box. I said, you know what? We're going to try them. Oh, yeah. So part of the reason why we're here tonight is Jess is making that beef stew in the Instapot, which we will probably show here later on. Uh, show them. What, is the, what did you find here? The Longhorn? Well, I found this, but it don't have anything to do with that. I don't know. We might as well just get it, though. Yep. Longhorn seasoning. 
But uh, that'd be I mean, good. I'm honestly. getting some seasonings that I need because they're a buck and it's cheap. What seasonings do we need for the? Just salt Easter? and pepper, but I'm getting other things for things <laughs> like Italian. Wait, seasoning. don't we need uh, like onion powder? I have onion powder. All right. And I'm getting just regular black pepper. We have the grinder, but sometimes it's easier for recipes to use the. You can already this ground. out because right. it's already ground and yeah. you don't have to sit there and. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So they do have some of the Healthy Choice uh, Chicken with Rice cans that you guys were talking about here. Uh, let's see. Check the expiration on them here. Uh, best by November 29th, 2023. So, okay. Get a couple years out of that there. And here's their uh, Tasty Kitchen. I'm not sure where this comes from. It might be one of theirs, but because we just the want to check. Yeah, it does. The Tasty Kitchen. Uh, March of 2023, so about a, about a year and a couple months on that one. I found this one, too. What is that? Red Lobster? Red Lobster Seafood Seasoning. What? Man. For a buck? I don't know why I said that. Everything's a buck here. I need to quit saying that. Dollar tree. Everything's a dollar, at least in ours. So I did want to point out that they have the Campbell's Tomato Soup. Um, it is 14.3 ounces for one dollar. I think the normal, I think the regular size cans at Kroger are just 14 ounces so this is a little more uh, i may be wrong on that this expires december 18 2023 so good for uh two years it's pretty good so one thing dollar tree does have um some of the beans that you guys have gotten from here i know uh you were saying that these were low in a lot of your stores every time we come here they seem to be uh have a good amount they have some of the omega rice the supreme rice the omega long grain all different kinds of rice here Dry beans you can put away for a while. Got some Goya beans. Looks like they just have the garbanzas and the frijos rojos. Uh, the small red beans. <laughs> so I do not believe that this is the brand of spaghetti that they had here the last time. Um, I remember it being something else. Either that or Columbia changed their package. I it was like a green, kind of looked like cremette before. They do have some in. They haven't had a lot of spaghetti. Usually don't carry a lot. They do have different uh, sauces down here. Okay, so somebody was asking about the original gourmet chocolate fusions uh, and that we should try them. We're going to try them. Some of you guys have asked about these little cereal bags and how they have gotten smaller. You're right. They have. These are about half the size they used to be. Because uh, I remember in one of my videos I said I could get probably two, maybe three bowls of cereal out of it you're lucky to get one big bowl out of this maybe a bowl and a half one bowl if you're me but yeah they're pretty tiny so we did get some good comments on the sunny d in the last video so i wanted to point out they still have it we're not fans of sunny d but i know some of you are we kind of had mixed reviews i don't know like they have a lot more juices than they had the last time we were here and i know one of the brands specific that they deal with is old orchard i like old orchard i know we got a lot of uh some negative comments on Old Orchard, but I, I like it. I think it's good. Some of it can be a little strong. You might have to add a little bit of water uh, in with it, but hey, stretches it out a little bit, huh? <laughs> so a couple of people were telling us that we should try the A&W for the waters. I don't know. That just kind of sounds weird. Try it. I don't like root beer. So yeah, oh, you yeah. I know you don't. Yeah, I think I'm going to pass. We're going to the grocery store after we leave here, so... Uh, probably not going to film at Kroger because I've already done two Kroger videos this week. Um, but we will show you our beef stew and how we make it in the Instapod. So that'll be fun. One thing that seems like it's been a bit of an issue again, as we saw a couple months ago, they we've had a lot of trouble finding like sandwich bags, storage bags, stuff like that. It has been low. We did see a bunch at Walmart the other day, but Kro both Kroger's we went to were very low. Um, so when you see them, I would just buy up a couple. You guys know I love my Cracker Jacks. Oh yeah. Three boxes for a buck. Not bad. And you get a price. Did want to point out that if you're a Dollar Tree and that they do this kind of thing where they open up the boxes and sell single ones, I did notice a expiration date of February 13th of these, which these last forever. Jess had pointed out that they kind of look funny. They look like they've been sitting here for years. 
<laughs> so what were you saying about the deals here? Well, like you feel like you get a better deal at Kroger. Sometimes you got to look at the size of the package that you're getting right. because you could be getting a better deal at Kroger. Yeah, it might be like three dollars, but you could be getting like four times as much in the bag as what you're getting here. So. Right. Right. And again, yeah, just always check these expiry check expiration dates on everything you ever buy. That's what we do. But yeah. Kind of surprised to see these expire in like two weeks. So I will say that Dollar Tree is not the place to shop for pet food. This is all they have. A couple bags of treats. Pretty much it. No cat food. Hey, bag of cat litter. I don't know though. They probably just dug up a dug up some sand. I will say it came to the back wall here. I know a lot of people have been talking about cleaning products and having trouble finding them. This is probably a good option. I know it's it's been low in a lot of places across the country, but Dollar Tree has a lot of great options here. And this is the most full that we have seen this in I don't know how long. Um, they even have the Comet Spray. Kills that stuff. And uh, yeah, okay. Not too bad. I remember the last time we were here, they were out of bread. Uh, let's see here. Butternut's a good one to check here. Used by February 7th. Okay, well, yeah, it's about right. About, about 10, 11 days away. So what would you say about tuna? Would you buy tuna here? I would not. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. Something about buying tuna at Dollar Tree, huh? I mean, it's name brand, so. Yeah. Yeah, you, do you get the, you get the chicken though, don't you? I get chicken. But don't you, you get the tuna too, right? What do we got here? This is Starkist, the chunk light. But isn't this a dollar at Kroger too? I don't know. Seems like it's been a dollar everywhere. One issue we've been having everywhere is ramen noodles. They only have a little bit here, but it is a dollar for a five pack. We saw that it's gone up at Kroger. Two of these, which are six packs, two of them for three dollars. So it is a little more at Kroger, but. Um, this is one thing, like, if you love ramen and you find it, I would just go ahead and buy it because we've seen that it's been low everywhere. One thing that has been very short everywhere has been toilet paper, and they are very short on toilet paper, too. However, they do have a few, and check this out. They got these single rolls of Charmin for a buck. That is a pretty big roll of toilet paper. I don't know, though. You can get four rolls of this for a dollar. They do have plenty of paper towels here, but I will say this. I have bought these paper towels before and they pretty much are ruined as soon as you pull one off. I they are my opinion probably the worst paper towels on the planet. Uh but you know, uh if you need a roll, just keep in mind you're going to go through three or four of them on what you would one of the Kroger brand. You know one funny thing I just noticed is these bag clips. If you try to buy these at Kroger or Walmart, or pretty much anywhere except for Dollar Tree here. These are expensive. Like, they'll sell you, like, six of them. You know, they'll, they'll be a little more, like, five or six of them. But they'll be, like, five or six dollars, you know. So, and they have different ones, too. Binge-worthy. Like my Doritos. <laughs> Those don't look like very good bag clips, though. I would probably get, like, this kind that has the spring on it or these longer ones. Now, these are probably cheap quality, but free for a buck. So, we did have to pop over to Kroger, and I wanted to show... We got a lot of Bengals stuff going on around here. Got some cookie trays, cupcakes. I don't know, what do you think? Ooh, look at these. Got the Bengal stripes. Okay, so this is just something I wanted to point out real quick. That the Cheez-Its look like they're no longer on sale. They are 3 dollars a box now, which those have shot up. Another thing we're seeing, stickers. Sorry for the inconvenience stickers. Um, that's a shame. Uh, we have heard from you guys that a lot of Cheez-Its and stuff like that have kind of been going out. Well, they're putting them up here now, and they're going up in price. So, yes, meat has kind of gone through the roof, but they do have the Laura's Lean Beef, which we actually need for this recipe. It has to be a very lean meat. So we're going to use this. We're actually going to double the recipe, too, which it says it's completely fine to do, because with just one pound, it doesn't seem like enough. So, uh... We get home, we'll show you guys how to make we'll this. We'll have a lot of leftover soup. Which Say what? Will be fine. I said, it'll just give us a lot of extra soup. Heck yeah, that's what we the, want. For the weekend or through the week, beginning. All of the week. week long. <laughs> so, I browned the meat. I used two pounds. You have to use real lean meat. I think, our, what was it, like 95 or 92? 92. 92. 
Um, I browned it in the pot first. Then I drained it in the colander just to get all the excess, like, stuff Grease off. Out. Um, put it back in there. Poured the V8 in, which I used the whole jug since we did a double recipe. We just wanted to have a lot of extras. Um, and then I kind of scraped the bottom of the pan since I browned it in there to make sure there wasn't any, like, bits burned onto the bottom. Right. Then I put that in there, and then I put the bags of mixed vegetables in the top. And you can add whatever you want. I just followed this real simple recipe that had, like, real easy way. You could probably put any vegetables you want. You could probably add potatoes, I would assume. Did you get this recipe out of our Instapot Bible? No, I found it online. (laughs) But, and then you just cooked it on one minute on the soup function. Bringing it up to pressure. Which basically brings it up to pressure. I think it took about... It was probably about 30 minutes for it to come to full pressure. Yeah. And then it cooked for one minute. And then once the timer was up, we have to let it sit for 10 minutes, which is at 10 minutes now. And then I can release the pressure and then it should be good. Release the pressure. Here we go. Whoa. (laughs) It always kind of freaks me out. It's crazy. (laughs) All right. We'll let it uh, depressurize and we'll show you the finished product. The moment of truth. I'm always nervous at this part. <laughs> What's it going to look like nice in there? Nice and easy. Oh. Boiling soup. Look at that. So, yeah, that's what it is. And then I can stir it up. <laughs> and it's got to be. Oh, my goodness. It's basically just, they call it beef soup, but it's essentially just vegetable yeah, soup. Yeah, I know. I don't, it's vegetable, vegetable soup. Vegetable soup. And we just did the. the With the meat. Laura's Lean. We wanted to use the leanest meat we can. And it is on sale at Kroger this week. Six ninety nine, normally eight ninety nine, so we got a good deal on it. Um, there is a little bit of extra grease in there, but that's okay. Yeah, whatever. That's what you got tums that, that for. Adds flavor, right? <laughs> yeah, we did buy some tums. It smells <laughs> good. I hope it's delicious. All right. Here goes nothing. The moment of truth. I'm scared. I am too. <laughs> it smells fantastic. Good. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. You're looking. Sweet. Well, I'll tell you what. That tastes pretty darn good. Yeah. Um, It's different than the vegetable soup I make. Yeah, it doesn't thicken up too much. And I don't know, like, I know you can put cornstarch and stuff, but I don't want it to, like, completely thicken up. Right. I want it to still be soupy, yeah. but not super thin. So, I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can look around and mess with that a little bit and see what will happen. But, I mean, it's still really good. Yeah. As, I, it's absolutely delicious. That's why I was trying to not compare it to the vegetable soup because I knew it would be different because we cooked that on the stove for like an hour and it yeah. simmers enough to kind of thicken it up. Right. And this cooks really quickly, so I don't know. I'm curious. Plus, we add more stuff to that too, like the tomato yeah. sauce, so, the, I don't know. the broth, stuff like it's that. It's still good. It so. is good. It is good. It's a little different. It's different. I think we expected it to taste like the vegetable soup. I mean, it does essentially. It's it's, just, it's, it's, it's a different its own texture. thing. Yeah. It's its own thing, so... Absolutely delicious, though. Also, we found out today that our Dollar Tree is going up to $1.25 on February 8th. Yeah. So we have a couple weeks to go in there and go buy, buy everything. Buy everything. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. With all that being said, we are out. And always remember the adventure is out, out there. there.